Osteoidosteomas are an unusual bone tumor and represent 3 to 4 percent of all bone tumors. However, among the benign bone tumors, they represent 11 to 12 percent. Patients typically are adolescents or young adults, and there's a slight predilection for males. Nearly all patients have non-activity related pain. The natural history is for spontaneous resolution to occur, but this may take many years. Characteristically, aspirin and anti-inflammatory agents relieve the pain, but one must continue to take medications for many years. For this reason, most patients choose to have surgical treatment. In the past, this consisted of surgical excisions, either by on-block resection or intralesional curatage. However, currently, radiofrequency ablation is considered the standard of care. This radiograph shows a typical osteoidosteoma in the lateral cortex of the proximal humerus. The coronal CT scan clearly demonstrates the lesion, and the axial CT also shows the nidus within the anterior lateral humeral cortex. The top screen in blue color represents the surgeon's view of the virtual image, demonstrating the position of surgical instruments being navigated in the surgical field relative to the target nidus. The bottom screen represents the CT scan image formed after three-dimensional reconstructions using the O-arm software. In this particular case, the placement of 2K wires, best seen in the two CT images on the right, is confirmed within the nidus inside the humerus. The indications for radiofrequency ablation are patients with painful osteoidosteomas, patients with symptoms unresponsive to analgesics, or patients in whom symptoms are responsive to medication, but a prolonged course of treatment is considered undesirable. Finally, in rare cases, a secondary deformity may develop, such as a scoliosis. The importance of radiofrequency ablation relative to other treatment options is that surgical excision involves curatage, on-block resection, or wide resection in bone grafting, and success rates of 90 to 100 percent are reported. However, there are complications as high as 20% in some series, with a 4.5% incidence of fractures. Radiofrequency ablation is advantageous in that it is minimally invasive, is successful in relieving pain in over 92% of patients, and has a lower risk of complications compared to surgical excision.